Hello, today we will be speaking about, talking, talking about the Pledge of Allegiance. If you have ever been in an elementary school in the United States, early in the morning you may have noticed an interesting ceremony that takes place where the students all rise from their seats and place their right hand firmly above their heart all whilst reciting the Pledge of Allegiance and facing an American flag. Most countries do have oaths and poems that they tend to recite at specific events and special ceremonies. However, none of them seem to resemble that which is seen in public schools in the U.S., which is the Pledge of Allegiance ceremony. But the question I want to answer is, why do we have a Pledge of Allegiance and why do we recite it early in the morning in public schools? Well to answer that question we have to go all the way back to 1888 where a magazine subscription titled The Youth's Companion started supporting a campaign where they wanted to have a flag flown above every public school in the United States. By 1892, the magazine had succeeded in selling American flags to over 26,000 public schools. However, the demand began to decrease. So, to promote the demand for American flags, the magazine created a ceremony where the attendants of the ceremony would make a pledge of allegiance to the raising of the flag where they would salute the flag while reciting the Pledge of Allegiance that was penned by none other than Francis Bellamy, who was actually a socialist. However, the Pledge of Allegiance wasn't the same Pledge of Allegiance that you hear today. In 1892, it went as follows. I pledge allegiance to my flag and the republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The public school administrators that were attending the ceremony loved it and ran with it. Over the years, the Pledge of Allegiance has had many minor changes. For example, during the Second World War, they dropped the salute and changed it to the hand over heart gesture due to the fact that the salute or saluting the flag resembled the Nazi salute. In 1954, Congress made the final changes to the Pledge of Allegiance by adding the words, Under God. It was done to promote patriotism to the U.S. and it goes as follows. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So in all, the reason that we have the Pledge of Allegiance is because some assholes wanted to sell more American flags, so they created an entire movement.